Hey guys, welcome back. Modi here. We're back in Modi Shorts for some more uh, Feed the Beast Academy. All right, so last episode we made ourselves a uh, a steam dynamo. Now we're trying to make ourselves a magmatic dynamo, but we need Invar, which I don't think we have. So let's go ahead and look up Invar real quick. And Invar is simply made by... Uh, let's see, where's that? Nope, nope, yes. Iron and nickel. So it looks like it's three iron, two nickel. So let's go ahead and go. Uh, we'll go like nine and six real quick. All right. Let's just go throw this in here and get this melting. And while it's melting, we'll see if we can figure out something else. Okay. So we got that. Uh, let's look here. Microwave. Redstone furnace. Redstone Furnace uses RF to smelt items. It really doesn't do much more than that, but upgrades and augments can make it a lot faster. So this is basically going to be bricks, another one of these machine frames, so some tin, some iron, and some glass, uh, copper, gold. Okay, so this is going to have a handful of things in it. So let's go ahead and grab this glass that we cooked up in the other episode. We have some copper on us. Um, we're going to need some bricks. So let's go ahead and get some of this clay cooking as well. We use up the last bit of heats from this one. Let's see how this is coming along. So we got nickel iron. Okay, well apparently I did the math wrong. Do I need, I have no idea. Okay, so let's go ahead and pour some invar real quick and we'll uh, pour a block of it as well just to kind of speed up the process a little bit. All right, wait for this to fill up and then we'll go like that. All right, let's grab this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, God, that is slow. Holy jeez. All right, uh, let's get back to the dynamo that we were working on. All right, we were looking at this guy here, the magmatic dynamo. So we're going to need four, five, six total. So we are going to unfortunately have to wait for this block, which is almost done. Let's see what's in here. We got one more ingot of this. I'll throw some more stuff in there in a minute. All right, so we're getting the invar, and then we're going to need, uh, we're going to have to make it, get another piece of silver uh, real quick. All right, and we'll go ahead and make our coil, which we made for the last machine. It's the same one. All right, there's that. And then we're going to need uh, Invar gear and some iron and a piece of redstone. I saw redstone on me. All right. And this is now cooled off. That is perfecto. And there we go. All right. So we just got to make ourselves a quick gear. And then we should be able to make this guy. Boom. There we go. All right. So this is going to work just like the other one. Uh, we'll put it right here. That did not hook up the way I wanted it to. All right, let's put that right there. Why are you not, do I have a crescent hammer? Let's make a crescent hammer. Let's look that up real quick. This one's a little bit confusing uh, because it's actually a wrench, but it's called a crescent hammer. So that is iron and tin. So we'll grab a piece of tin real quick. And this is, this is probably honestly one of my, the best kind of wrenches I think in all of modded Minecraft because it uh, it works for a lot of different mods. So basically, you can do all kinds of stuff. So first of all, we're going to use this to turn this guy to face the direction we want. The next thing we do is we're going to shift and click right here. That's not what I wanted. Did not should probably not should have shifted. Let's try that again. All right, put that down, and then we're going to sh not shift, but just click there. And that disconnects it from there because we obviously don't want water going in here. So this guy is pretty simple. Um, let's grab our bucket and let's see if we can do this without being moited. We'll go out to our lava hole. We'll grab a, one thing of it and we'll head home. And like it said, it will do 120 RF per bucket. So we put that in there. And now this guy is just using lava to make RF. And we can see this guy is filling up even faster which is cool so 
All right, so there's a couple different ways you can use if you have an abundance of, of lava. That's a good way to go. This one is if you got coal, and, and especially one of these guys, this guy's going to keep going. Now, this guy is making the same amount of power, 40 RF a tick. Um, but this is using coal and water, and this is using lava. So, All right, so let's head over here. We should have our bricks done. They are... And we are going to make the next machine in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up, subscribe, like, uh, click the bell. You know, all the, the normal things. Uh, go check out the Patreon. Help support what I do while playing on um, our six Minecraft servers and check, hanging out in our Discord. And go check out the uh, host Havoc for all your server needs. And until next time, I want to thank you all so much. Bye.